Hey everybody, my name is Jennifer. This is Metatrona speaking. I have a channeled message today from Poseidon. Um, the way, I'm going to tell you the way this kind of started out. Um, but I want to give a bunch of disclaimers around it too. <laughs> so um, I had originally um, pulled some oracle cards that were telling me certain energies that wanted to reach out to me. Um, but I, I hadn't had time to contact Poseidon, right? And I was in my restroom and I saw my shower curtain just move by itself. So I, I went through a list of questions with Metatron and found out that it was Poseidon. And so I ended up channeling him, but I want to tell you that normally if you see something move on its own, a lot of times it's a departed soul. A lot of times. Um, sometimes it could even be like a demonic energy. Um, normally it's something in the, in the 3D world when you see something 3D moving. With my guides, I've had them move stuff to get my attention a couple times, not very often. Um, and honestly, this must be like a thing for Poseidon or something because the other day, um, he moved a piece of my clothing too. And I'm like, what are you doing? What, <laughs> what are you doing? You could just like tap on my shoulder or something. You don't need to move physical objects. Um, okay, let me get my phone. So I can tell you what happened with him. So I tell Metatron, okay, like if it's Poseidon, go ahead, bring him through. I'll channel him. And first I'm just trying to feel his energy. And the second he comes in, I feel him like grab my foot, just one foot, like real firmly. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's got a lot of strength. Um, and then I'm just verifying, okay, is that Poseidon? And he's like, yes. Um, and Poseidon, cause he's, he's grabbed my foot and I'm like, is that you Poseidon? And he's like kind of wiggling my foot to be kind of like playful and silly. Um, he's purposely using my feet because if you've watched other videos of mine, I have like a Achilles heel. <laughs> I have a weakness. I have an emotional weakness in my foot chakra. So they grab my foot chakra and guides will give me like nice energy in my, in the, um, in the chakra that's at the bottom of the foot, underneath the foot. And it makes me so happy. And so that's why he's playing with my feet to kind of let me know that he knows me enough to know that I like that. Um, it's the equivalent of someone. <laughs> it's funny because I wrote down, it's the equivalent of someone giving you like a really good massage, but like in a really, really small spot. Um, and so he does that to kind of like set the tone right away because I'm kind of suspicious of him. No offense, because he is a Greek god, because every other time I've tried to Every other time that I've talked about wanting to communicate with the Greek god, Metatron has told me, nah. Because I was like, oh, hey, should I communicate with Zeus? And he's like, mm. I was like, oh, look, look, you know, should I channel Ares? And he's like, uh, Apollo, no. Like, <laughs> like, he keeps telling me they're not in my best interest, which means they're just not at a high enough vibration to give me something to aspire to, right? Um, so he wants to bring in Poseidon, who I have channeled before. I channeled him before, not for myself. I actually channeled him for a client. So he came through for a client. He was super loving with the client. It's interesting though, because he gave me, uh, slightly different energies. He was like all love. He was like Metatron energy with the client. I didn't feel that quite from him with our interaction, but he, he was trying to be loving. Um, he adjusts my palm chakras. Oh my God. I wrote this. He is related to Metatron's energy. How funny. I don't remember writing that, but that makes sense because he was really loving with that other client. 
He is related to Metatron's energy. It's hard for me to tell you because here's the thing. I'm fe I feel energy and I'm starting to be able to, you know, I shouldn't say starting. I can detect energy signatures, but I'm not perfect at it. I can get general energy signatures. I have a long way to go before I can really get fine-tuned with it. Um, but I can tell when an energy that's a god or a goddess has like an archangel that I'm familiar with connected to them. And the ones I'm really familiar with are like Metatron, Michael, Raphael. Like that's pretty much it, to be honest. Because um, I don't talk to all of the archangels. Um, but with gods and goddesses, what I'm noticing is that, uh, like with Odin, like a Norse god Odin, I have him here. He's the closest one to my body on the right. I know he's like an incarnation of Metatron. I don't know if gods are really incarnations. I know he has Metatron energy within him, but like six, eight months into working with him, I realized wait a minute, you have Michael energy in you too. And so that kind of confused me, right? Because we have Michael and we have Metatron, two different archangels. And so God energy is almost like they picked a little bit from here and there and they put it together. Um, so even though if I say a god or goddess feels like so-and-so, there's probably more to it than that. That's just the dominant energy that I'm feeling. Oliver, Oliver. Okay, Oliver wants to be on TV because he cannot get comfortable. He is. You want to look at the TV? The TV, the camera. <laughs> hey, too cool. He says, "I just want to sleep." It is nap time. He sleeps a good twenty hours a day. Only stops for some snacks. All right, lay down, buddy. All right, let's see what I got here. He is related to Metatron's energy, but very, but it's very obvious that he has power and ego because when Poseidon showed up, Poseidon felt like a big energy. And the way he grabbed my foot, like an archangel will never do like a sudden strong movement on you ever. They are always gentle. So for Poseidon to be like, I mean, it, he didn't hurt me, but he was just firm. Archangels won't do that. My understanding. Oh, and so here's me giving the background of Poseidon because I was hesitant to channel him for that client back in the day. And so I did a little research. I was like, okay, who is Poseidon? And I read all this like not nice stuff about him on the internet. <laughs> Which is normally the case, right? If you read up on any, like, Greek gods, there's nothing nice that's being said. Um, so I talked to Metatron about it. And essentially, Poseidon used to be um, more angry, more driven by his ego, just like all of us. So this is like an older version, right? Older version of Poseidon that has been recorded in history. He has evolved since then. Um, and so I asked to like go through his energy right now, which is something I, I will always ask with guides that I'm not used to working with all the time. I'll be like, can I flip through your energy? Can I feel all the different things that are in there? Um, at first, I feel a warm and loving energy from him. So he's giving me his love energy. Cool. I feel, what did I say? Oh, he feels supportive, strong, protective. So that's all like Metatron slash Michael kind of energy. I feel that he is clever and strategic, that he likes planning. <laughs> so he's like really, he's just showing me these different sides to him. Um, did you not give me anything else? Because... Poseidon, let me see if I can get him. 
I didn't write down anything else. And I know that man has darkness. Poseidon. Are you here in front of me? Can you let me feel the rest of your energy? Because that was not complete. Sometimes when I'm channeling, I not sometimes, almost always when I'm channeling, I get interrupted by um, things that are happening in my 3D world. Like, oh, I got to go meet with the client or my children are screaming or, you know, whatever. And so sometimes my channeling gets chopped up and I didn't realize that I didn't finish going through his energy. Can I? No, not your love. I've already felt your love. He's giving me love energy. That's very sweet. Can you keep flipping through it and uh, let me feel uh, your darkness so I can see how much you've learned? There's, <clears throat> sorry, there's still, um, I can feel uh, like a little bit of anger, um, like a little bit of pride. Yeah. Um, it feels like, um, like on a human level, almost maybe you, I'll ask Metatron, Metatron, he, probably less than a human, but it feels like it's about equivalent with a human. Yeah, and he's got sadness. Suffering. A lot of suffering, huh? Yeah, a lot of suffering is what normally helps us heal. Or what can help us heal the anger and the pride and all of that stuff. Is this proportionate? He's had a lot of suffering. Are you just like sitting around suffering all the time? Because you're showing me a lot more of this than your love. It just kind of keeps going. There's like a, an aching feeling, like a loneliness or like a longing kind of feeling. And gentleness, yeah. So his suffering helped him to become more gentle. This makes sense. Thank you. Okay, so I have this ultra short message for you from him, but maybe he'll want to chat more now since he's right in front of me. Um, what he said was, water can help you now. Water is always a tool for your spiritual journey. Why aren't you using it more? Use it to cleanse yourself energetically. Use it to integrate your darkness with your light. Use it to amplify spoken manifestations. Use it to amplify healing. Use it to inspire you for how to approach your problems. Ocean tides, ocean waves, and ocean currents remind you that life is meant to ebb and flow move and change okay so this is like the shortest channel message i've ever gotten from him but i was having a chaotic week and then i got sick and so i wasn't able to go super deep with him but he's actually given us a lot of information so i want to kind of pick this apart for you so he's talking about why aren't you using water more to help you on your spiritual journey and then he like lists the ways we should be using water um so the first one was use it to cleanse yourself energetically. I have, I'll, I will have to link these below the video. So in the description, I'm going to link two different things. There are two different, I believe I have them both on the website. I'm going to say I have two different documents that are available on the web. Well, there's three, but. 
two of them that involve water, two different documents involving water on our website that are free for you that are um, rituals or procedures that you can use with water to benefit yourself. So one of them is using water um, to help you remove trauma that is already ready to be cleared from your body. Like you've already processed the emotion. A lot of times our energy is still holding on to it and we need to do something to release it. Um, so in the document, it'll tell you, okay, you can do this by bathing. Like you could do this in a bath. You can do this in a shower. You can do this by visualizing yourself in a bath or in a shower. Or you can do this uh, using drinking water. We all drink water, right? I hope. <laughs> so I'm going to put the link in the description in case you're interested in that. Um, the other thing he's talking about, use water to integrate your darkness with your light. So if you think about it, um, all of us have darkness and light, and many of us are very um, uncomfortable with the thought of our darkness. We've been taught that, um, you know, the darkness is bad, that anything that we do is dark is shameful and should be punished. And so we have this natural tendency when um, something of a, of a darker nature comes up, anger, sadness, pride, jealousy, whatever, when these energies come up within us, sometimes we have this instinct to like um, push away from it and separate it from us because we don't want to be associated with being jealous or being angry, right? Because we're, we're working so hard to develop our light and then sometimes we are actually pushing part of ourselves away, which ultimately makes us weaker is what it is. It If whenever you are rejecting part of yourself, you're losing part of the whole, you're losing part of your power. Um, so I have an entire document on the website that talks about integrating your darkness with your light because it's important to, it's important to learn from your darkness. So if you feel jealous, let's, say, let's just use that. Let's say something happens and you feel jealous. It's a learning opportunity, right? You can turn your jealousy into greater understanding. And so you want to be able to keep the learning, keep the wisdom from darkness, whether it is like an emotion that's popping up in you, whether it is trauma that you've gone through. So let's say you've had like horrible experiences in your childhood and you want to push them away. You want to forget them. But you don't actually want to do that. You want to bring it in front of you and process it as much as you need to process it. And then you want to integrate the wisdom from that into you because you want to keep the wisdom. What you don't want is you don't want to keep replaying the awful memory. You don't want to hold on to the emotions once you've already processed them. And so you want to be able to clear that portion of the darkness, but you want to be able to hold on to the wisdom from the darkness. And so that's what that document's about. So that'll be in the description. Poseidon talks about using water to amplify spoken spoken manifestations. So if you're trying to manifest something or if you're trying to do like an affirmation, I guess is maybe the better word. If you're using um, uh, verbal affirmations, you could use water to assist you with this because water is like the equivalent of quartz, like a clear quartz. Water is essentially like a liquid quartz in that it will magnify and amplify whatever you are using with it, right? So if you have a glass of water, 
which I don't have, and you speak to the water, and then you drink the water, well now, not only do you have the power of your spoken word, but you've now put it into something that's going to make it amplified. Now you drink it, right? Now you have this amplified energy throughout you. So you can tell your water, I am confident. I trust my intuition. I know that the universe is always working out for my greatest and highest good. Drink your water. Or whatever affirmations you're using. Um, you can use water to amplify healing. So if any of you are Reiki trained or any other kind of healing trained uh, using your hands, or you could actually use this with verbal affirmations too. So the way I do this is like, I normally do this with my children. So my children will be in a bath, right? Bunch of bath water. And I'll put my hands over the bath water. And I'll, you know, put certain healing energies in there for them. Um, but if you're not Reiki trained, uh, and you don't have to do this with bath water, you could do this with shower water, you could do this with drinking water. Um, if you're not Reiki trained, you could speak to it and just have it be um, towards healing, right? So asking for emotional healing or asking for physical healing. And putting that intention into the water and letting the water assist you as a, as a really good tool. Use water to inspire you for how to approach your problems. So think about water and how water moves. If there is a mountain in front of water, water doesn't try to go up the mountain, right? Water's like, I will go around you. Water goes with the flow. Water finds its own pathway and water goes, water takes the, the easiest pathway, which I don't know, I guess that sounds like bad advice. Um, but there are times when there is a mountain in front of us. And sometimes we have mountains in front of us and it's like, oh, this is something to climb. This is something to overcome, right? And other times we have these symbolic mountains placed in front of us and it's not something that is changeable. Think about that. So before you go to climb something, before you go to climb your mountain, is this mountain even climbable? Is this something that can be changed? Is this something that you control? Because sometimes we get handed something we don't control, like... um Someone in our life just got a medical diagnosis that we don't like. Or someone has just uh, wants a divorce from us or has broken up with us. Um, things like this where we, we don't control that. We cannot stop that. We cannot change that. And so instead of trying to like fight the mountain and go over the mountain, which makes no sense... You go with the flow. You're like, okay, you're a mountain. You're here. I need to keep moving. I need to keep going. And so you learn to flow around it and respect what is there. And yet you need to, you need to keep moving forward, right? And so we go around it. And so it's having a little bit more flexibility when obstacles are placed in our lives that cannot be overcome. Because that's, that's part of existence also. So really good advice from Poseidon, but a very concise. He wasn't messing around. Ocean tides, ocean waves, and ocean currents remind you that life is meant to ebb and flow, move and change. So make sure that you recognize that, that sometimes life is about moving forwards. And sometimes life feels like we're going backwards. And, you know, you're not. You're, you're going through cycles that are natural, but we have this unnatural um, set of expectations that we always want to be going. We always want to be going forward. We always want to be going up, but it's ebbing and flowing, moving and changing. Okay, so that is the message from Poseidon. If any of you already 
do you okay I think he wants you guys to like just feel his energy for a second before we go so let's go ahead and do that so if you are interested in trying to feel Poseidon's energy go ahead and just acknowledge it to yourself or out loud either way and Poseidon will come forward you know right from the front towards you Being super subtle with me. You feel like this super gentle, loving energy, but he's not really touching me at all. It's like I really have to feel into it. He's got that quiet Metatron energy right now. What happened to Poseidon that grabbed my foot? Can you do something like? Give somebody something more they will notice. He's just being all gentle with me. So I don't know what he's doing with you guys, but he literally just feels like this real gentle, radiating light. It's very nice. But he's almost like a contradiction to me because he came in so strong. So I guess I guess he's just like all of us, right? We have our sweet side. We have our feisty side. Okay, Poseidon. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.